Hi everybody, Catherine again, kicking the coronavirus with the LCCC personal trainers. Today we're gonna work on um, a, a workout for stability and balance. And those types of things are really important to work on as we age. It's one of the first things that we lose. So really important to um, help us maintain our activities of daily living is to work on our stability and balance. Um, we're gonna work on a little bit of static balance. We'll warm up first and then we'll do some dynamic or moving balance things. And at the end, we'll um, do some activities that kind of really tax our brain and our body at the same time, working on our proprioception, which is knowing where your body is in space and time. And then we'll do a stretch. So the first ones, the warm up, we'll probably do um, a good um, amount of time is 30 seconds each, typical to what we've been doing in the past. And then, um, we'll do the static, which is just holding some balanced poses, and we'll do those three times each for five seconds, each one. Then we'll do some moving balance techniques um, because we don't live in a static world. We're constantly in motion, and so we need to make sure that we maintain our balance when we're in motion. And again, we'll do those for about 30 seconds each, and then we'll cool down and do some stretching. And research shows again that um, holding a stretch for about 40 seconds is very beneficial. Um, 40 seconds to two minutes. So we'll hold them for the about you know 30 to 40 seconds. Okay, are you ready to get started? Here we go. So we're gonna start off. I'm gonna scooch this chair back. We're actually gonna be a prop for us. And we're gonna use this chair to help us with our balance just in case we start to falter one way or the other. And before I go on, I just want to let you know that I do have my dog this week and Riley is here with me. So if you see a, a little dog um, going back and forth, uh, that would be Riley. Hopefully he behaves. He's laying on the couch right over there right now. But we're going to start with just walking in place. So it can be whatever pace you want it to be. You can increase by lifting those knees up higher if you wish. You can pump those arms a little bit harder if you want to. And again, this is for about 30 seconds. If that's a little bit too much to get moving, the, if it's early in the morning, um, you can just lift the heels up, okay? Doesn't have to be a whole lot just to start getting that blood pumping and going. And then we're gonna go a little bit faster. So you can actually take it to a jog if you want to, or you can just increase that march making it a little faster if you want to and you can move it forward and you can move it backward all right now we're going to walk around our chair you can use the chair for balance if you want to or you can take your hands away and I want you to start to think about really landing on that heel toe, heel toe, and rolling that foot all the way through. Move the chair back. You can see that all the way around my feet. So heel, toe, heel, toe. You can actually pick the knee up a little bit farther too if you wish. And we'll finish our round on this side. And then you have to go the other direction. All right, so heel toe, heel toe. We're going for 30 seconds. I did decide to play a little bit of music in the background. I don't know if you can hear it. And again, you can make the steps smaller if you want. All right, so that was going around in the circle. And then the next thing is we're going to do some toe taps to the front and the side and the back. Again, you can use your chair if you want. So it's just toe out to the front, toe out to the side, toe to the back, tap it back in. So it's front, side, back, and in. Front, side, back, and in. Front, side. Good. I'm gonna do two more. And last one and the whole time that you're doing these make sure that you're keeping your core nice and tight other side 
front, side, back, together. And then if you want to increase the challenge, if you're starting to feel like you can do that, you can bring your hands to the hips. If you want your hands off the chair, but you um, feel like you need a little bit of help with the balance, sometimes we want to bring our arms out to the side. That helps as well. And last one. Now we're going to increase the intensity of this just a little bit by making it a little bit harder. Again, hand on your chair if you wish to have it there for balance. And you're actually going to sweep the foot. So it's not really going to tap down. You're just going to sweep it about half an inch above the floor. Good. Again, you can take your hands to your hips. If you want a little bit of help, you can reach out to the sides. Again, have your top of your head going straight up to the ceiling, pulling your core in. And one more. And then the other side. So swing it around, swing it around. I hope you guys have been staying busy. Um, I wonder if all of us are getting much better at cooking in-home meals. I know I have been. I made a big, huge pot of chili. I don't know what I made a huge pot for, but probably freeze some of it. And then a couple more. Try not to lean too far forward. Make sure that you're standing upright, core tight. One more, and there we go. So that's our leg swings. Now we're gonna do what we call a V step. And you're gonna take out, step out and up, and then go back, feet together. So it's out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Good. And you can pick the speed up if you want. And then if you want to increase the intensity, you can add some arms. And then the other foot first. Switch it up. So this is making your brain think a little bit too. Sending those signals to the feet to do something that just stepping forward in a normal walk. A couple more. And now we're going to switch it into what we call a T-step. So it's going to be up, up, out, out, in, in, back, back. So out, up, up, out, out, in, in, back, back. So you're making the letter T. Up, up, out, out, in, in, Back, back, good, keep it up. And you can increase the speed if you want. And you can even hold onto that chair a little bit and make your steps a little smaller if you feel like you just aren't ready to let go of that chair, and that's fine. And then the other side, so up, out, out. Sometimes it's harder on one side than the other. Again, keep that posture nice and good. And if you feel like you can add some arms, you can just add. So the arms come in forward when you're going up and back, and then out to the side when you're going out. Good. All right, next one that we're doing for our warm up is called a rocking horse, and it's just up and back. You can hold onto that chair, so it's a knee lift and a kick back. So you are actually shifting the weight forward and backward, forward and backward. Now, we can add an arm curl and extension. Arm curl, extension, curl, extend. Curl, extend, curl, extend. And you can make that motion really big if you want, or you can keep it small. 
barely lifting the heels and off the ground if you wish and switch sides and you can always use that chair option this will be the last one get a quick water break and then we'll move on to our static balance holding the, the poses okay we can make it big so shifting that weight forward and backward changing the center of gravity and learning to balance while that's moving good all right so quick break you can see my water bottles on the counter and i completely forgot to fill it up before we got started anyways Go ahead and take your quick break and get your drink of water if you want. So the next one is going to be um, standing on your tippy toes. Um, again, chair here for balance. And remember, we're going to hold these for five seconds each. So we're going to come up and hold five, four, three, two, one, and down. We're going to do this three times. Up five, four, three, two, one. Last one, you can try to take your hands off the chair if you want to, and it's really important to try to come up on all five toes. So five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Now we're gonna lift our toes, and same thing. Doesn't feel like you have them lifted very high. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Again, five, four, Three, two, one. And if you want to increase it, you can lift those arms up too at the same time. You can do that with the heel raises as well, those first ones that we did. And relax. Very good. So the next one is going to be the hip opener. Um, we did these on the first beginner one, I believe. But again, chair here if you need it. So that leg is going to come up. Knee is going to come in line with your hip if you feel like that's comfortable enough for you to come up that high. Not necessary, you can keep it low. And then you're going to open that up. Hips are going to stay forward and then bring it down. And good. So we're going to bring it up. We're going to take it out for five, four, three, two, one. And come down. And our last one on this side. Open it up for five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Now we're going to do the other side. Chair if you need. Bring it up. Take it out. Three, two, one. And again. So you might be feeling your ankle wobbling a little bit. And that's perfectly okay. It's normal. That's your brain talking to your muscles through the nervous system, dictating to those muscles what they're supposed to be doing to keep you upright. And that's the purpose of all of this, is to keep that communication going. Okay, so now this next one, it's a little bit different. It's, it's a little bit of movement in it. So we're gonna do a little hop or a step. And bring that leg up and you're going to hold it okay so that's what the exercise looks like you can do it with no hands on the chair or you can hold on and it can be a big hop and hold three two one and then step back we're going to do that two more times Take it up and hold it three two one and step back and if you just feel like doing a step and a tap that's fine too three two, one. Good. We're going to do the other side. And so it's a hop over. Five, four, three, two, one. Step back. Little hop. Five, four, three, two, one. Step back. And again, hop. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right. Last one we're going to do here. Is it's a squat with a push, like a side squat and push off. And I want you to think of when we watch gymnasts and they land, you know, they really hit that landing. 
That's kind of what you're thinking of when you hit that landing and then you're gonna push off of it. So I'll show it to you first. So it's gonna be a side squat and then we push off and come back. So a side squat, push up and come back. Ready to join me? Ready, let's go. So side squat, hold, four, three, two, one, and push off. And again, side squat, four, three, two, and push off. And again, the other side. Four, three, two, one, and push off. And again, you can use your chair if you need to. And the other side. So land it. Three, two, one. Push up and squat. Five, four, three, two, one. And push up. And then again. Five. Landing that foot on the ground. And push up. Very good. So that's we're done with our static balance exercises. Now we're gonna to do to our dynamic. And the first one, pretty simple. It's just a side to side swing. Um, <clears throat> but you're gonna come in front and back. And so your leg ends up being like a pendulum almost. Take your hands off if you wish. All right, join me when you're ready. And this will be for 30 seconds each. Again, you want to keep your core nice and tight. If you ever need to just tap your foot down and gain your balance, grab your chair, whatever, that's fine. Again, that's that brain trying to tell the muscles what to do. One more. And we'll switch. So again, chair if you need it. Come to the front and back. And back. Front, back. Two more. Good. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, the next two things that we're gonna do are a little odd, but kind of like your tree, you kind of the wind is blowing pretty hard. It's gonna blow you back and forth. <clears throat> so you're gonna shift your weight from the outside of one ankle to the outside of the other ankle, back and forth, but we're not moving our feet. Our feet are still flat on the ground. It's just the weight is shifting from where it's, where it's at. So we're going to go side to side, and then we'll go front and back. So we lean forward a little bit, and go back a little bit. Lean forward, and then back. Keep that core nice and tight, good posture. Shoulders down, don't let your shoulders sneak all the way up into your ears. Keep them down and relaxed. Swaying back and forth, back and forth. So just a little bit of movement ones. Okay. Now we're going to um, go into ones that are a little bit more functional exercises, movements that we use in everyday living. Um, so this first one, <clears throat> well, I don't know how much we stand on one leg, but anyways, standing on one leg really helps us learn how to balance. But we're going to add some other little idiosyncrasies to it to make it a little bit harder. Now. You can always put down what I call your kickstand. So you can always put your toe on the ground or you can lift up um, one leg. See how you do here, okay? Core tight. <clears throat> Support leg is straight, but there's a soft knee to it. Again, shoulders are not up here. Now we're gonna add some dimension to this and you're gonna try to either let go, stage number one, close one eye, you can cover it if you want to, and you can see how I'm starting to wobble more because of that. You can try to close both eyes and 
係嗰個都唔係係談笑。Open your eyes, and last thing we can try to do, and always put that kick down, kick stand down in between if you need to, is we're going to raise up our arm. We're going to take it out to the corner, and we're going to look up at it. So this is, becomes like a, a an activity of daily living. We have to move in multiple planes and come back down. Good, and we'll do the other side. So start holding onto the chair, kick stand or leg up, support leg soft. Let go, first stage. Cover nine. I can't blink as well with this eye, so I can't close just the side. But I'm really scrunching my face. Close both eyes. I had to put the kickstand down. One side's always better than the other. Claw tight. Alrighty. Now arm up, out to the corner, and look up at it. So how often do you have to reach up to that top shelf, get something out, tiptoe up onto the one toe? One leg comes up off the ground, reaching up to grab something and relax. Good. Um, last one we're going to do is a reverse lunge, and then we're going to look in the opposite direction of the lunge. So take the a good stance, all right? But again, the legs should be hip width distance apart, just like if you were going to get up and start walking. So you're not on a tightrope. You're going to take that down into a lunge position. Now you're going to lift up your arm and you're going to take it out and follow it out to the side. Good. Bring it back and stand up and then we'll do the other side. So again, not on a tightrope, good walking stance. Take it down, lift that arm and follow it. Good. And bring it back. And now we'll stretch. There's a few fun things you can do if you have a partner too with stability. Um, you can use like a little ball and you know, throw it back and forth to each other, bounce it, all those kinds of good things. So let's get our stretches in. We're going to start with our neck. We're just going to take our ear down to our shoulder. Again, the shoulder is not coming up to the ear. Shoulders are down and the ear is coming to the shoulder. Good, come back up to a neutral on the other side. Now, ideally, we would hold these for the 40 seconds completely, but when you do it on your own, you can do that. Um, I will have the marketing, media and marketing department attach the workout so you'll have it in print form. And then chin down. Very good. I'm going to take one arm across the chest. And I like to hold it here, just right up above or right below the elbow, but not on the elbow. And hug it into yourself. In the back of that upper shoulder. The other side. Again, choose either below or above. So never right on the joint. There's Riley. Now we're going to stretch that upper back. I like this one. I try. I tell people to pretend like you're pushing an imaginary wall away from you. really good and then our chest so you bring your hands together behind you and just open up that chest if you can't reach your hands just grab your chair and open up that chest you can even grab here and open up that chest okay and when you have a chair for stability make sure it's one that's not going to tilt over too too easily 
that's pretty important. Okay, so now we'll do our hamsters and our calves. One leg out in front, and you're going to lean forward. This arm, can, forearm can go on this leg, and you're going to bring your toes up towards your chest. You should feel it all behind your calf, your hamstring. You can reach your foot. Great. If not, that's a goal. You just keep your hand on your leg. You gonna exercise too, Riley? And other side. Well, hello there. Yes, hello. No leg. No leg. Thank you. That was a good down dog. Can you lay down? Down, no, down. Off. Off. Thank you. Alright, now we'll get the front of our shins. So just point your toe down towards the ground. Off. Off. Thank you. Very good. And other side. Good. And the last one we're going to do is for our hip flexors. And the fronts of our thighs are our quadriceps. You're going to kind of straddle your chair here. Off. Off. And reach forward. Now pull back. And you should feel it right there. And other side. Reach forward. Pull back. I'm not overarching my back. I'm kind of coming straight back. Just so I feel a stretch in that quadricep or the front of my thigh and that hip flexor. And that's it. So thank you for joining me today for a little bit of balance and stability training. Um, it's a good to incorporate this into your workouts at least two to three times a week, and it can be added on to some simple balance exercises in your cardio workouts, Riley, no leg, and in your strength training workouts. Um, and stretching we should always do at the end. I have also, I, um, hopefully they will attach a little sheet on the benefits of stability and balance training and how important it is. So you can open that up and take a look out of it. But I just want to leave us with reminding everybody to eat healthy, um, to exercise your mind, and be kind to one another. See you the next time. Bye.